gonna stay in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm not at a point in my pregnancy where I'm just like, oh, he needs to get out. He's more than welcome to chill there for another couple of weeks for now. I'm not, I'm not like horribly uncomfortable. August has been quite a busy month for me work-wise and I am enjoying it. I think because my life is about to be so uncertain, I am clinging on to the longest relationship that I've been in, which is this relationship with you guys. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I like making videos. I have figured out my formula and it's just very soothing for me to work as if I am not about to give birth any day now. Hello you. I'm a little bit worried about how Cheeky will react when our baby arrives. She has never seen or interacted with babies and sometimes she barks at children when we're outside, which is rude and unacceptable, but it's okay. You just have no experience with children, but she's gonna have to love the new family member as well. You're gonna be an older sister. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that she got her a monthly grooming in Yep, she got her nice manicure and pedicure. <laughs> oh. It is 4.30, which means it is time for Cheeky's Din Din, which is in this Tupperware. Uh, this is Open Farm, and I have been purchasing Open Farm for years now. This was highly recommended to me by Soph and Whaley, and this is high quality pet food. This is the best pet food I've ever fed Cheeky. And I am so honored that they wanted to partner with me and sponsor today's video. Truly, if you're looking for some high quality pet food, Open Farm is the one for you because they really raise the bar in so many levels. There's just so much crap and preservatives and weird fillers, especially in pet food. And Open Farm doesn't have any of that. Firstly, 100% of the animal protein is ethically sourced, which means that the beef is grass fed. They're free to roam around and live a happy life. The lamb is pasture raised and has a wholesome diet. The salmon is wild caught and always ethically sourced and sustainable. So I get Cheeky the gently cooked recipe, which I slice up and divide into this Tupperware, but this is what it looks like in the packet. This is cooked at a low temperature, so that way it preserves as much nutrients as possible. There's also no antibiotics in here or weird growth hormones, and Cheeky loves the taste of this. Luckily, she's like not a picky eater, so I like to just switch it up. Like right now, I'm giving her the grass-fed beef recipe, but she loves the turkey one, she loves the surf and turf one. I just like to switch it up and give her some variety. Honestly, dogs are just like humans. They've got their own needs, some are picky, some have allergies, but I love that Open Farm has something for every pet, regardless of taste or sensitivity. If you guys are looking to upgrade the quality of your furry family member's diet, I highly recommend Open Farm. I will leave my code, which is Jen, for 15% off your first order. I'm gonna leave that link in the description box, so open it if you're interested. But for now, I am going to feed Cheeky because she has just been waiting so, so patiently. So tonight, we thought that we would finally crack open this can of beans. We always avoid eating this because this is the curry one. Yeah, so obviously you must know baked beans, the best English bean ever. And uh, the curry version is just, it's great with fish and chips. And we're having fish and chips tonight, but a healthier version, we've got mm -hmm. cod. So I had a vision that we were gonna cut our own potatoes and make our own fries, but I thought we would just be resourceful and use the fries that How nice are... of you. <laughs> it just shrivels into absolutely nothing. So we just dip the cod in a bit of flour, then we pop in the egg. That gets the attachment. Then we get the breadcrumbs. That gets the flavour, the texture. I think probably that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, and then turn. Yeah. Give it a little roll around. Wow, should I get the top down? Yeah, yeah, get the top down. Good job. All right, so we've got some lightly battered cod mm -hmm. with some wilted kale mm -hmm. and then a pot of curry beans. Yeah, and some chips. 
course. I can say chips now because we're having fish and chips and that's the only time Americans know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Get the old chip and the beans straight away. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm confused with where the beans go. We do the fries. Is it? I see. I just put the beans on the tail. It was a large place I put it. Really? Yeah. It's actually pretty good on the tail. Oh, oh, okay. I just want to double check. You look great. You look How's the baby bump look? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, we're here. I know this is kind of a surprise um, live episode. This will be coming out uh, next week on all the streaming platforms, but um, you know, I want to accommodate. finished our meeting with our doula, Andre. Honestly, she is freaking amazing. So calm, so assuring, so knowledgeable. Um, a doula, by the way, is someone that assists a pregnant woman with her birth. It's just really, really nice to have an expert with you on site because labor can be a really scary thing, especially if you don't know what's gonna happen. There's just so much uncertainty and unknown. So it's nice to have someone who has seen it all, who can help you find different positions that are comfortable. It's also great because I have like a lot of questions regarding my pregnancy. So it's awesome that I can just text her and be like, hey, Andre, is this normal? Today we went over all these different laboring positions because when you start labor, it's just gonna be very, very uncomfortable. And I wanna try my best to labor at home as long as possible. Labor lasts a long time. Just because your water breaks doesn't mean that immediately the baby's gonna start gushing out. I mean, for some people, yes, but for first time moms, I hear that you can be in labor for like, 72 hours. So I want to make sure that I'm at home for the majority of it. Yeah, I'm also the most comfortable here. So that's the plan. And and having Andre by our side is going to be so amazing. I have been going to the hospital every week for my doctor's appointment and I have an appointment with Andre every week too. So yeah, it's just the the waiting game at this point. We're really at the final stretch. Here he comes. We're, him in the car. We're being good parents and installing the car seat before he arrives. It's the last thing we'll do is panic in the moment, you know? Come on, buddy, let's get you in. Clap, it's all good, green light, we're good to go. Right, driver's over, welcome. Come on, buddy, let's get you out. Push it in, pop it in, and out wow, we go. Wow, beautiful. Love it. We are on our way to Costco. Costco. To be fair, this is only our second time ever going to Costco since getting our Costco card. Once we found out we were going to be parents, it felt very important to get a Costco card. Yeah, it was like the next step, right? Yeah, right? Costco, yeah. Give us a big smile. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. There you go. I'll show them my Costco card. This is my favorite toothpaste of all time. This absolutely goes into the cart. More dental hygiene, exciting. This caught our eye. Something very peaceful about shopping at Costco. We went at a really off time. There's not that many people here today. It's very rare. It is very rare. And there's still probably a few thousand in there. <laughs> what? What's touching your eye? These hats? <laughs> huh? Cool floaties. Cool floaties? Okay. Oh, 
was her diapers. No, but 92, that's just that's Do you need 92 excessive. diapers? I don't need 92, that's, that's excessive. Oh my god, we've got a Costco meal. We did, we thought we'd get very healthy, very <laughs> cheap as well. What did you go for, babe? Okay, so I got a good old plastic. I haven't had this in probably 10 years. I got a chicken bake. And then I got a nice little a cheese slice. Only thing I can have, and it's also delicious. Right. Good old Kirkland. Okay, so this is my chicken bake. This is good. This is huge. I didn't know it was that big. I think they. It was not this oh big my. when I. Look you were how, smaller as well. Oh my god, it, look how big this is. Oh my god. This is huge. Okay. Right. Good luck. Good luck. All right, guys, we are back from Costco, and now I'm going to do a Costco haul. So first up, we fulfilled our main objective, which was to get the Kirkland baby wipes. Hopefully, this is the one that everyone recommended. 900 wipes. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna be good for a while with this box. So next up, we saw this in the food section. We've got the shrimp wonton ramen. This looked really, really good. I think once baby arrives, there's gonna be some times where we just want a quick meal. And I think that I would always be in the mood for this. That looks freaking delicious. I normally just get broccoli crowns and then chop it up myself, but I was at Costco, I saw this, I caved into the convenience, okay? I also got a giant bottle of avocado oil. We used to cook with olive oil, which actually was a terrible idea because it would just burn all our food. So ever since we started switching to avocado oil, our food has just been tasting better because this oil has like a higher threshold for heat. So it makes food taste amazing. We also got some spinach and cheese Ravioli, this is also a really quick and easy dish. It says that we can freeze this and then it would last up to an extra month. I love getting Rao's marinara sauce at Costco because when you just get this at a normal grocery store, one of these costs like seven or eight dollars, but at Costco, you get two for 10. We also got some pure protein bars. These are ones that Ben has had before and he really likes these. These are good for on the go. And they have three flavors. We've got chocolate peanut butter, chocolate deluxe, and chewy chocolate chip. For dental hygiene, we've got four packs of Sensodyne. We also decided to just upgrade our current toothbrush situation. We've had those brushes for like five or six years. The battery is always dying. There's just, it's just grimy despite us trying to clean it. So we thought that we would treat ourselves to something a little bit more slick and sexy. Yes, dental hygiene. And then I also got this four piece kitchen bin set. I know this is for the kitchen, but I thought that this would really work for a baby's room. This could store like the diapers, the wipes, even like bags of my breast milk that I'll put in the fridge. There's always use for these containers. I can never get enough of them. And the grand finale is of course, toilet paper. I feel like child's clothes feels the best for me. Pause Love Island. Because we need a little lollipop, you know? I thought that we would share some baby names that we liked, but we're not using mm. for our baby. It's weird with baby names, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because there's like, there's all the options in the world. And like, <laughs> we've, gone, we've gone through a lot, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Parents feel pressure to give a really unique name to the yeah. babies, you know? like. Like Halo or oh. something. Halo. Hello, Halo. That's a nice hey, name. Halo. 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 Yeah, like from Halo Top. So there, this is our first baby name that we like but won't be using. Probably won't be using. Halo. Halo, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's Ben and Jen, and it's, you know, we joke when we meet people, we joke it's easy to remember our names, Ben and Jen. Mm -hmm. And we're like, can we continue that? Mm -hmm. like Ken or Kennedy was one of Oh yeah, that was one of yeah. them. It's like a nice unisex name. But then it's Jen, Ben and Ken. Is that is that just too annoying? Is that like, is it Ben, too Jen much? and Ken. Yeah. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. It'd be kind yeah. of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. I think Ken's cool. Putting Ken's that back cute. Like Street Fighter. But we decided not to use Kennedy because one of my friends named her daughter Kennedy. And I was like, this is selfish. So How do... You know, you should have known that we hadn't <laughs> thought of it yet. <laughs> if we had a daughter, I wanted to name her Magnolia. 
Magnolia. Yeah, oh, I yeah. remember that. And, it, oh, and yeah. we would call her Maggie, Maggie. But you knew a Maggie growing yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And so that's just kind of weird because you just think of her. Yeah. We liked Mick for a while. Yeah, we Mick did like would have Mick. been really cool. Like yeah. Mick Jagger. Yeah, Mickey. It's like Nick, but Mick. <laughs> you know? I thought of this one recently. I like the name Quinn a lot. That's a nice oh, yeah. unisex name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Q for short as well. Oh. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy from Impractical Jokers called Quinn. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. Growing up, the only Quinn I knew was the, the bassist from The Used. His name oh, was yeah. Quinn. Yeah. It's very specific. <laughs> we named after the basis from the U. <laughs> Rome. Rome. That's a cool name. I like Roman. Rome. Is it? Oh, oh I like Roman. Roman. I like I that like name. Roman. Roman. Ooh. Ooh, Roman. Well, maybe this will be the moment we find. Jen Roman. Oh yeah. Oh, that would have worked. Roman's cool. Roman's cool. And short for Rome. Rome. So it's not too pretentious of having another baby name after a city. Mm. I like Roman. Roman. Do you like Roman. that name? I really like that. Oh, that'd be so hard for my parents to say. Do a test. Do a test? Like, Dude. Try and say it and see. Whatever name we choose, like my parents have to be able to pronounce it. Yeah, that's right? Uh, Rome. Yeah. Ro ro they're gonna struggle. My mom can't say purple. It's one of the most difficult words for her. Oh. She goes purple. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. You gotta get a clip of asking. Yeah? Now we built it up. I know. You gotta, you gotta uh, film and asking her, Mom, can you say all her? All right. Roman? I just see, just Should see I just call her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I just call her right now? She's not gonna answer. Your call has uh -huh. been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hi, Ma. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Roman. Roman, yeah. You don't. Ah, Roman? Oh. Oh. Roman. 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 Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Why are you calling me? No, no. I'm thinking about another name for my other name. And then Roman is coming. But how can my mother say this? I thought it was a problem. Roman. No, it's not. Why are you calling me? Roman. 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 Ro